Oh, and a concede. No way. What? Oh. And the concede. Yes. Oh. Excellent. Another win. <laughs> We're in the money, boys. Yes. Hello, 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 it's Wagawell, and I'm back with another video on MTG Arena. Sealed Ravening Allegiance today, boys. This is going to be sick. So, Ravening Allegiance just dropped on MTGA, and we're going to dive straight in and play some Sealed. Now, Sealed, I prefer as a competitive game type to draft, but I do like draft a bit more than Sealed because it's more fun and more random. So, we're going to jump in here, pay 2,000 gems. We would love to pay it. And here we go. We got our packs. So can we open them one by one? So these are our rares. Ooh, wow, okay. Okay. A very, very, very Simic. It's basically made the decision for us. Very nice, and the breeding pool as well. Keanu's Wrath isn't gonna fit in with these, but we'll see what the, re the rest of the cards we've got now. Awesome. So, let's sort by uncommons first. I've done a lot of research on on this um, on this set. So we got some nice cards here. Wall of Lost Thoughts, not bad. Oof. Some nice uncommons. A lot of red, green. More Simic. Oh, Frill Mystic. Very nice. We are definitely going Simic. I don't know if we're going to splash anything else, but we're definitely going to go Simic. Um, so let's see. Hmm. Turn dark creatures on his hand. Draw a card if you... Mill. Okay, some of these are very nice. Um... So let's take the Sphinx anyway, 100%. Let's see if we have any interesting red cards. No. We have some nice green ones. Switcher, base gland or gate to reveal it. That's going to dig through the deck. We're definitely going to use Rampage of the Clans. I don't know if we have any enchantments. We're going to use it. Um, Riot and Trample. Not bad. A lot of black white cards. A lot of black white cards. Hmm. Biomance is familiar, we'll see. I mean, the effect that you get to adapt multiple times. We're definitely going to use the Hydroid Crisis. Crisis. Frill Mystic gets a place. Aeromunculus gets in. Lizrog, I guess. I mean, Lizrog could be the end game. Definitely Breeding Pool. Definitely the Gilgates will take in as well. Not gateway plaza that can that can stay away. Um interesting. So tap on tap creature you control. So that's two two tappy taps for one mana, which is a bit useless. Adapt four for six mana, that's not bad. I'll take a couple of those. Um, so we do have access to blue. Tap target creature, draw a card in blue. So that's basically Blue and one white tap target creature draw a card. Uh, do we splash? We, I think we're going to need to splash a color. Um, be it white, I suppose. But white black is awesome. Um, I would rather have colors that mix well together, though. But we may not have that option. May not have that option at all. Hmm. Tough choices, I think. Let's have a look in blue again. We've got lots of blue cards. Lots of white cards. But nothing really in the way of decent in white, I would think. Hmm. Flash flying is good. Target creature opponent. I like this. I'm going to take a couple of those. Like a top four cards, if one on your hand, the rest of your library. It's a sorcery speed, not a fan. Wall of Lost Thoughts is okay as a defender. Scry is not too good. Tire Pest Shelf is a graveyard into a library. Draw a card. Vigilance. 
counter target spell. Let's do that. Adapt 2 for 7 mana. Each creature with a plus 1 counter has flying. Okay, that might be good. Adapt 2, it makes it a 5-5. Five, five. We'll take that. Hexproof Homunculus. I don't know. Um, this is interesting. Hmm. 2-3 Reacher. That's pretty much it on that side. We're going to have to splash, I think. It looks that way. Creatures you can control. Get, oh, that's the combat trick. Let's have a look at our, our uncommons that we've left. What do we have here? Mortify is not bad. Removal. Target creature. It's an instant. You control the target. You turn one creature. Graveyard to your hand. Not very good. Not a little bit of spectacle. Sacrifice two creatures. Draw three cards. Hmm. I think for game one, we're going to try a deck that doesn't splash the third color. Simply because it doesn't appeal to me enough. Yeah, it doesn't appeal to me enough as of yet in terms of having that third color. Kind of like having the reach. Maybe an end gamer there. Go through the deck. Maybe the caretaker will be okay. And then we focus on some dangerous blues. Tap target creature, but it doesn't have tap. That's cool. And then I guess Shimmer of Possibility is a possibility. I mean, that's quite good, but it's, it's, it's three mana for a bounce, which is heavy. Oh, I think we're going to try this. Um, it's got a pretty even spread. Got a bit of ramp. Not as much as I'd like. I've got no enchantments um, at all. <laughs> which is a bit... Makes the... Um, makes Rampage of the Clan seem a bit pointless. Do I have any enchantments at all, though? Wow. That's quite good. That's quite good. And is that just uncommon, or that's all my enchantments? Interesting. I mean, hmm. Let's see how that performs. I mean, we don't know what kind of enchantments people are going to be playing, but we're going to... We're going to try it. We're going to try this. So, here we go with game one. Okay, so this is not too bad. Um, we've got some interesting plays. We did get Rampage of the Clan, so let's see if that's any useful in this uh, match. Let me review this card, Scry 3. Oh! Yeah. All lands. Uh, no, we're going to get rid of all of those. <laughs> I, I forgot about Sphinx of Foresight. That's really, really cool. Um, if I had those three lands as my next three plays, that would have been pretty bad. I probably maybe should have kept one of the islands for, for the Mystic, but we'll see. Oh, we got Brilliant Pool, so that's fine. That makes things a lot easier. We're going to enter, enter tapped. Full Mystic's going to come in a lot. It's very useful here, so. Road Spiral, that's, that's a nice card. I like Road Spiral a lot. He's going to play another land. Yeah, basically just instant ramp. Shimmer of Possibility is nice. I think we play it. Ooh. What can we take from here? Fireman's is familiar for the adapt. I think so. I'm just going to reduce the volume a little bit here. The height. So it depends on what he plays here. It's going to influence what we do. Okay, so that's not good. That's going to kind of force us to use Sphinx of Foresight. Uh, what's the adapt? Adapt 1 for 4. Yeah, I mean, let's do this. I get to scry every turn, which is really nice. OK. 
true. Now we're now we're in business. He's quite good, but I kind of want another land. I want to get Galloping Lizrog involved. Maybe not. Um, we're gonna frill Mystic this, I think. Yeah, we're gonna wait and frill Mystic. Depends on what his next turn is gonna be. He's adapted it. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. The solitary planes. Has defender and loses flying. Ah. See? See now? This is when Rampage of the Clans gets interesting. Watch this. Let's let him declare attackers. Rampage of the Clans in response. We get to block its flyer. I think its flyer is far much of it, more of a problem than than anything else here. And now we get to play the counter game. Don't really want you. We want lands. We want to get ahead. Good. Okay. Interesting. Right. So I think... Are we in a position to attack here? Huh. I really want to use Frill Mystic in a situation. Um, I think we start getting ahead on the damage. We got Caretaker if needs to be, but I just want to get Frill Mystic down. Um, going forward here. It obviously swings, but we're okay with that. We're okay with that. And that's going to get Frill Mystic. It's really cool to have a creature that counters a spell. Because you get double the... Uh... Oh, and a Concede! Game one victory. Excellent. Nice way to start. Very good. I was a bit worried about the deck. Um, I think that was more of so um, as a result of him just being very, very pissed off, in my opinion. Um, yeah, I think he was just pissed off in that scenario. So, all right, we're going to go on to game two. I think we're going to keep running with this till we lose, and we might make some changes going forward. So, this is pretty cool. There goes the volume again. I don't know why it does that. It's really, really irritating. I think we can keep this. I think we can keep this. Yeah, that volume is still really, really high. It just glitches out sometimes when I'm using OBS. Very strange. I'm going to reduce everything down. <laughs> Leave the master. I want you to hear something. It's not fair to... Alright. So what we're going to do then is... I mean, it's a good time to play the Gilgate, but I think... I think we need to get, yeah, I think we need to get some blue lands in here. Um, audio is completely gone now. It seems. <laughs> Sorry about this. That works. Cool. Interesting. One damage to each player. Do you one damage? What is this? Mono red aggro, what? So what I want to do here is I want to start getting Thought Collapse uh, enabled here. So we're going to go Grand Island. It's doing it again. It's very strange. You hear that? I'm not even touching it and the volume is just fluctuating. It's so strange. Right. This could be a spectacle deck. What do you play here? Because I'm happy to play the counter game next next turn with the uh, thought collapse. Ooh. Hmm. Almost made an error there. I'm still okay with the talk collapse. Um, we're, we're, we're still ahead in terms of what we can play, potentially. Okay, that's four damage to the face. It's not looking very good for us here. 
If he passes, we've wasted a turn. We want him to play something here. Oh, what a waste. Okay, so do we Simic Gilgate? Yes, we do, I guess. This is not good. This is not good at all for us. So we want to play the Mammoth Spider next turn. Um, and if we can't, then... If we can't get the benefit of a Thought Collapse, at least, before the end of this, then we're in trouble. Uh, yeah, he's going to pass again. That's not good. Okay, so... Fairy Duelist has Flash and Flying. Um, I've got enough mana to cast it, plus Thought Collapse. So let's do that. Let's, let's do that. At least that gets some pressure on the board. Um... Yeah, I do like this. We've played a lot of lands. Comes in with the attacks. We play Fairy Duelist, keeping Thought Collapse up, which is nice. What we're going to do is... We're going to reduce the damage by 2 here. And then if he wants to kill the Fairy Duelist, I'm fine with that. I really am. We'll see what he does to the duelist, though. Um, talk collapse that. I'm okay. At least we get to use it in this scenario and probably force him to use another removal. If he used that on the Mammoth Spider last turn, I would have been a bit upset with that, but I'm okay with this. Wow, he's really gone in with the full... Okay, so that's worked. And then I want to kill this guy. And if he's going to redirect that damage to him, I'm okay with that because... I'd rather that go to Duelist than to face. Which he probably is going to take out the Duelist, I would think. Because it's got flying. Good. Okay, I'm happy with that. It keeps the one damage from my face, and that one damage will maybe be the difference of a win or loss later on in the game. We'll have to see. He's checking out his graveyard. Nothing really useful there. A couple of fiends, which is okay. It's okay. Okay, he's got both fiends back in his hand again. <laughs> I don't know if that is something that I can kind of say that he's kind of worried that I'm ahead now, but I don't know if that's the way it is. But we're going to play this Mammoth Spider and see what happens. If it gets removed, bad spot, because all we got is a shimmer of possibility for the next turn. He looks like he's going to remove it. Hmm. Tough matchup this, to be honest. It's just it's perpetual damage the whole time. I've laid no pressure on him. Too many lands in hand. Okay, well that I don't know if that's a <laughs> an indicator of things to come or if I'm just lucky here. He's gonna try and skewer me out, isn't he? He's thinking about it. Okay, well that's that's a good play. Audio is gone again. Audio is really gone again. Hmm. I think this is a pass. It's looking like a simple pass. I'm okay with that. Shimmer may help us here, so we're gonna go with the Shimmer. Anything's possible. Uh, shit. See, I have nothing with Adapt that makes him any, any good at all in this scenario, but... But we're going to take him regardless. Um, still a 2-2 body. And then the caretaker is a good defender. Yeah, we're okay with that. At 
least we've got rid of those four cards because none of them were useful apart from Mr. Adapt. Okay, this is good. So he's obviously going to be Rakdos Charm to get two more cards, um, which does set him back. If, uh, I would imagine one of those is going to be a land, so realistically he's only going to fill one more card in his hand. That's why I don't really mind the lockets too much. Usually you get a land in, in uh, you know, in, in sealed and draft. The chances to get a land are one in, you know. Okay, the spectacle, great. Perhaps a bad spectacle too. It's gonna cost him four, there we go. That's not good. That's not good at all. We do have outs. That's not one of them. I think this is not good for us. I mean, we can block it, I guess. Destroy all artifacts and enchantments. Okay, that's... Mm -hmm. I am happy with this deck. I think we just got unlucky. If you have 10 or less life, look at plus one better. So he, he's, he's still out of range at the moment. Um, they can they can deal some ping damage over time to us. Rakdos locked it again. He's got 15 cards in his deck. I don't know if that's an option. Um, I have a feeling I know what, what, what the next play is. I have a feeling. I think it's going to be attack with the the fiend and hope that I kill it so that he can he can pass through with the spawn. I do have two defenders though, so I think I they aren't going to kill the fiend. Passes interesting. Okay. I've got three turns. That's not good. There's not much more I can do here. I can just have to wait it out, really. He didn't crack the rack dots. That's kind of strange. Spawn of me. He is excellent. He's such a good card. I don't think we really realistically have any outs to this. I think it's just, it's over for us. We just gotta run down the clock. It's not looking too good. I mean, I got one more turn, realistically, and then... <laughs> I don't think there's any life gain in this deck or anything that I can use to, to get back into this. He's going to try and force the kill. Okay. There it goes again. Oh, 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 oh. You know, this changes things, believe it or not. When you cast this spell, you gain half X. Ooh. Ooh, okay, so I think this buys us some turns. So we've got four, five, six, seven, eight. So we do it for eight, yeah. Wow. That was the nut draw. It depends on what he does here, of course, but that, that was definitely the nut draw. irritating with the audio. I'm really sorry about this. So I gain six. Um, what's this? K 
can reach until oh, foo, foo. I mean, yes, please. This is, and we have tower defense as well. Ah, is there anything we can do to benefit us? There isn't right now, but we can win this. I think, I think we can win this with tower defense as well. That really does help. So, okay. Wow, we literally drew the best possible card we could draw. So he can't use the Spear Skewer anymore. Because if, that's, if he does, then he goes down to 9. And then I believe we win this. It really does depend on what comes next. We'll have to see. There's always a possibility that they could, they could crack back from this and win. Any removal against the Kydroid and we're done. Because he can just kill the Mammoth Spider with an attack now. It really does depend though, doesn't it? What happens next? That was definitely the nut draw, I think, in this situation. So he plays the land, three cards in hand, working out his play. I think he can beat me here easily. There's a few, low, too many cards in Rakdos that can stop me here. Create any number of goblin creature tokens. Cool, okay. I'm fine with that. He's going for it. He is going for it. Whatever he's about to do could be really risky or it could kill me. Okay. 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 I think this is game, if I'm not mistaken. Chillbringer against his spawn of mayhem. And then Crisis for the win? No way no way no way no way what oh wow we won and i was gonna concede i was gonna concede that's insane wow what a comeback. What a comeback. From that one card changed everything. Crisis, Hydroid Crisis basically won me that game. That is crazy. Wow. And I, 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 you, you see, the thing is, when I, was, when, I was, when I was looking at this card before, what was happening was that I was feeling like it was... Because it's only half of X you draw and half of X you gain life, I didn't think that the X still applies to his power and toughness. It's still an X creature. So for me to use eight there, he was an eight, eight. In limited, that is just a bomb, man. That's crazy. Awesome. Awesome. So get on to game three. We'll see how far we get with this. Audio is just terrible. Let's try that. Oh. There's an interesting hand. Shimmer of Possibilities, always nice. Breeding Pool, extra nice. So I think they're on the play. I didn't check. Oh, I am. Haha, <laughs> Gilgate. See, the audio, when you just start up a new game, it's just fidgeting around with it. It's just doing nothing. Okay, another new shade. So I think... We work towards getting the thought collapse because that's not too threatening at the moment. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to go with the island here. I'm glad we did that. Very glad we did that. Oh, pass is beautiful here. Pass is great. Another land. That was five lands in a row. Hopefully we get the value from Todd Collapse here. 
Or does he just pound it into the shade? No, he's going to play something. That's good. Yep, definitely going to counter that. So he loses the value for the extra card he was going to draw, and it would have been a land, and he's got some nice cards there. Uh, tapped Breeding Pool is fine. I do like the idea of that being a 7-7 with Trample. Let's see what we get next. What's our next? Everyone seems to be playing one of the guilds. It's interesting. Obviously, I'm this, I am too. Whenever it attacks, target creature and opponent controls can't block. Okay. That's fine. I guess I'm okay with that. Um, I do like the scry every turn. I really do. So let's let's play the Sphinx. Obviously, for he's still gonna he's still gonna make it not be able to block, but we get ahead instantly, um, based on creature advantage. Okay, so it's it's a very interesting deck. Haste. We he went for the haste, so he's gonna attack with everything. I think we go mono defensive next turn, and just keep at least one creature spare that he can't target with this ability. Discard a card, draw a card. Okay. Can't block. That's fine. Yeah, I think in the interest of the future of this game, we need to be careful. So. What's this? For two mana? Hopefully not a spectacle. Okay. Describe for one. You are good. You are good. I'll definitely take advantage of this. Um, but we'll play the Mammoth Spider this turn. Next turn then we can play the Hybrid. Or we can even play the Wrecking Beast. So we'll, we'll keep you what we bought up. And I think... We'll make the Wrecking Beast have be a 7-7. Seven, seven. So what's he going to do here? Destroy target creature, scry one. That is painful. Definitely get to the point. That's 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 painful. Ouch. Okay. So obviously, he's unblockable again. Deals me for five. Draw a card, discard a card. Does he? Oh, hey there. Nice. Each opponent discards a card. That would have been detrimental to me for the next turn. I would not. I would have made some tough choices. So we play the land, and Wrecking Beast goes down with a plus one plus one counter because we can't put that much pressure on when we have this little amount of life. But hopefully we can start start pushing back. Hopefully, if he kills another creature, we're in a tough tough spot. But we can definitely make him a 6-6 six, six next turn. Oh. Hellkite. He gave it haste as well? Really? Really? I think that's game. I think that's game. That is game. Wow. Ouch. 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 Yeah, that's game. Just enough. Good play. Well played. Good deck from the opponent. Riot is a bit of a pain. Just gives powerful creatures haste. I mean, I've seen, like, he is basically a... What's that? Um, volcanic dragon. It's basically a volcanic dragon. Um, with the option for it to be a non-hasted 5-5 five five that deals 2 damage every time it attacks. I mean, that, that to me is more of a benefit. But in that situation, he did get the benefit of using um, the haste as well to basically finish me off. Um, we have no plays. I'm going to mulligan this. Much better. Much better. Uh, we're going to draw cards. If, we're, if, if he's on the play, then we're going to draw cards as we go forward. So we're going to just wait and see. Play the Gilgate. Island from opponents. That's another Simic deck. Biomance is familiar is a bit of a pain depending on what way he's built it. And I've got my own one, which is nice. 
Hmm. So we can work towards killing his one if he gets brave. That's harsh. That is very harsh. Yeah, that's harsh. You can't afford it though. Huh? Oh crap, yeah you can. Whoops. Wow, no way. What a combo. What a combo. Adapt for one and you get to search for another one? He doesn't have it. That's that's lucky. That's lucky. There's nothing I can really do here. Take my beats and he's just going to adapt again. Wow, that's insane. So we're going to get the duelist down here just to mitigate the damage. And then we're going to take it. Because he can just adapt again. <laughs> That's the problem. That's the problem. Adapt to. I've got to adapt to as well, so I'm not going to be able to win that race. That's that's dangerous. The one thing I'm lucky with is the fact that it doesn't have trample, so I can build up my one, hopefully. And uh, I'm a bit scared. Oh, now I'm in trouble. <sighs> not good for me. Not good at all. Do I start building or do I? Sphinx. We need to Sphinx here. I need to start building up something. So he can literally adapt both of these and he can adapt that twice. Or if he wants to adapt this twice. Which wins that fight. What? What? No way. He splashed red for that. Really? He didn't even have red land. That's crazy. That's not good at all. I think we're done. I think we are done already before we even started. We need to see what the next card is. And no, no crisis is going to save us here. Unfortunately. That was, that's terrible. How, how did he? Ah, <laughs> uh, no. No, no. Not good. Not good. Not good. Seems like the audio is messed up again. I don't know why. I'm gonna jump back in for game three, see what happens. I'm very deflated after having two very good first games. One lucky one. Um, we're in a bad place now. So we're not gonna make the same mistake we did before. We're just gonna accept this um, because we seem to keep getting lands anyway. So hopefully we can take advantage. Uh, yeah, we can take advantage of this. This is definitely going to be a land draw in four turns at least. Tide taker. Ah, oh, OK. 
Okay. During your turn, spells your opponent cast cost one more to cast, and abilities your opponents activate cost less their mana abilities. <sighs> okay. That's really irritating. That's like the perfect card in this situation. Mm-hmm. Let's get the arrow monk list down, stop him from attacking. Sphinx of Foresight, I mean, uh, the wow, this is just nut draws on both ends. I would like it if it survived, I really would. Okay. So I'm imagining he's not going to attack here, that's what I thought, okay. Um, no. If I've got this scry for the next few turns and I don't want another land, I want something else. Okay, that's fine. So we play this. Um, we can adapt for value. We can adapt for value, but we can also quench our fairy duelist, depending. That was good. Does he get impatient? Nope. Don't want you. See, we would we would have got that land anyway. Um. Let's try and go for the adapt here. Let's let's just build up a board presence because we're in a bad place otherwise. here then okay adapt we don't want another land because we may just get one next anyway oh frill mystic is fantastic here so what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and bait out the uh, sphinx here Create two colors with fire, then you gain one life for each creature you control. Okay. Hmm. Does that change things here? No, he still has to block with the with the Sphinx of New Frog to kill the <coughs> to kill it. So could have countered that, but I'm not too worried about two one one flyers when I've got Fairy Duelist as well to help me out. Is it gonna be a big one? Is this a bomb? Yes, it is, and it goes down the bin. Horse May, it's a May ability. Wow, okay. Excellent. Scry again. Uh, no, we're okay with this. See, that's really interesting. Because we have an adapt creature. But again, this is what we want. I mean, if he does overblock with... Because the thing is, even if I use the Fairy Duelist, it still can kill the Sphinx um, if he multi-blocks. So hopefully we can force out a, a block here for one of them. Yeah, we can. That's good. I like that. I mean, I got Tower Defense as well, but that's that's neither here nor there. So... I still want to keep Fairy Duelist up for the other turn, and then I can start using Skitter Eel with Adapt to take advantage of the Galloping Lizrog. Okay. 
I'll take a land this turn then. Yeah. And I'll pay the skittering eel. Yep, that works. I'm really just contemplating the defensive against that, that flyer because I need to deal with him as opposed to uh, taking my beats. I need to deal with that Sphinx. Probably should have, no, we don't want him cracking back. What's going to happen here then? Death touch until end of turn. Ah, see, now, now we're talking. So we're going to respond with Fairy Duelist here. Can't have death touch if you ain't got no power. Nothing. Good, good. I'm glad I kept that mana up. And the concede, yes. Okay, three wins is not bad. We're in the positive no matter what happens. Or at the very least, we are in the neutral standing. So we're doing okay. I don't know how many, co how many gems that is. 1,200, still not enough for another, another game. Need to get the six wins. I don't know if we can do it with this deck, but we're causing some frustrations, which is nice. Um, we're getting there. We are getting there. Here we go again, once more into the fray. We are doing quite well so far, I would say. We've had some good results and some lucky ones, I would say. So we're against Nancy. Ah, oh, yes. See, we got all... This is like two-color good stuff right here. Yes, I would love to. I would love to. I'm not going to adjust the audio here, just in case. Please, Mulligan. All of the lands? Uh, I mean, with Hydrid Croesus, that's not bad. And also, yeah, we're going we're gonna to stick with... Funnily enough, with this entire thing, I'm happy with that. Six lands in a row. Breathing pool goes down. Enders tapped. We're going to follow up with the hybrid and just try and bait some, some motion. Wow. Good thing about Fireman's is familiar as well it means that the adapt four is actually only cost four. So if he can't remove this, we are in a really good spot turn four. Whether or not he knows that uh, is a different story. So, like I said, I've, I've kept my cards close to my heart here. And I know, I know where I'm going with this. So hopefully, I mean, we've got a, we got a backup play when the Sphinx of Foresight. If he does kill either of these creatures, we accept with open arms. Perhaps you have spectacle to respond. Yep, five two. But I'm okay with that. I really am. I'm okay with that because now I have adapt for four. And then adapt for four again next turn. So we're gonna we're gonna do that. Okay. Liking this. So, do we put all our eggs in one basket or do we start building up with the Sphinx? I think we start scoring with the Sphinx. Because if we start focusing in on the hybrid, then we're going to blow ourselves out in a bad way if. Um, Yeah, we're just going to blow ourselves out really badly if he just ends up killing it, so. There you go. See? Adapt this turn. There's nothing really we can do. 
yeah, I thought that might happen. So I'm I'm glad I'm glad we didn't put all our eggs in one basket for that one. I love Fairy Do List. It's been so good for us. Um, and what we're actually gonna do here is uh, do we swing? We don't have any. Ah, no, we do swing. We do, we do, we do, we do swing with a uh, hybrid. Because, interestingly enough. What we end up doing is killing them both anyway. Fairy Duelist is not even going to save us because even if I drop them by two, they still deal six. But I'm okay with two for one here. I really am. I'm okay with a two for one here. Aeromonculus can't adapt it till next turn, so we're actually going to play the Mammoth Spider because I was hoping I could get the uh, Aeromonculus plus adapt in one turn. But we're in a good spot here, because we've managed to basically clear, his, clear most of his board. He's got Riot with this. He's going to obviously put a plus one counter on it. Um, and then we wait. Land. We'll take it. And then we can air homunculus. We can. Yeah, we can, we can happily air homunculus after hitting in for four with the Sphinx. Put the Aeromunculus down. We got the Adapt with it, which is nice. So we get value out of that as well. We also have Fairy Duelist if things go arse ways this turn. Which is always possible with these kind of decks. Especially decks with removal. Okay, Riot Trample. Is he going to put it on Hasty Haste? He is not. Not even going to attack. Hmm. Really building up here. We've adapted. I I want to keep the lands coming, if I'm completely honest, because I want to keep getting Crasis up. Um, I don't know if it's greedy, but I do want to keep it up. Um, do I swing? I think I think so. I mean, Crasis can be a six. 6-6, six, six. so if I do this, it puts pressure on the guy to deal with whatever I've got. So we're going to use Krasis for 6 here. Or 4 and use Fairy Duelist as well. Let's do 4 and Fairy Duelist. I like that. I like that. Oh, I don't know why that made him quit, but, you know, he had to do me 19 damage in one turn. Um, excellent, another win. That crisis is unbelievable. I mean, if maybe it's just a limited bomb, but may, I, I don't know about standard playability with that card. That is, that is sick. It's so good, and it's so satisfying when you play it as well. He probably knew I had something else when he um, saw that I played the... I kept the two mana up, so maybe that was it. I don't know. But let's see. Let's see. We're on a good streak here now. I mean, four wins. Oh. It was going so well. Do you know what? We did this before. We did this before. So let's keep it. We did this before. Looking like it's paying off already. What else mingles with blue in this in this set? Is it not just Simic? Oh, Azorius as well, of course. So this could be either. Let's start shimmering. Take that because I don't want enchantment hatred when I don't even know what I'm playing against. But I can play Value Town next turn, or if he doesn't play anything, I'll happily hold up Talk Collapse. Hmm. Not too keen on that, if I'm honest. Um, I would like to get the hybrid down and caretaker down as well. 
So that way, next turn, if he plays nothing, which is a possibility, then we can hold up Talk Collapse. If not, then we can play Mammoth Spider. Because what we want to do is kind of hold the fort down as much as possible. So maybe does he have the fort land? He does. It's red. An attack would be interesting here, to say the least. Okay. I'm fine with that. See what you got. You can't be that hard up to deal with this caretaker. Must be. Hmm. Making some tough choices by the looks of things. Okay. Don't know what the payoff there was, but I'll take it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take two damage next turn. I'm fine with that. And a forest? Okay. I'll take my beats here. Happily. Pretty slow play. Usually the case though, isn't it? I love slow play. Uh, I mean, we could go the control way. Control way. Play Wall of Last Thoughts. See what their response is. I'm okay taking two damage each turn if he managed to take it out. But uh, other than that, we're in a pretty good spot here. Ooh, some nice cards we got rid of there. Wow, Wilderness Reclamation as well. Two bombs. Nice. I like it. I like it. Okay. Let's see what else happens. I mean, they were all cards, not lands. That's nice. So far, so good. Another land. So I, th I think we're ahead here. I do think we're ahead here. Do you attack again? Is that your your plan? Is to try and whittle down my um my defenders? Okay. You do that. I'm okay with this. What's your combat trick here? You're wasting combat tricks on defenders. Because I'm fine taking two damage. If it's nothing permanent, then I'm fine taking two damage for the foreseeable future. Because it just buys me enough time to... Uh... Okay. Sharkto Crab. Adios, Sharkto Crab. You've just been taught collapse, my friend. Um, we're lucky that Wall of Last Thoughts is actually a, um, an uncommon because I think it could become... I was, I was worried there for a second. Active Treason as well. Hmm. Interesting deck. I don't know what, what the plan is here, but I can start counterplaying now, which is nice. Um, get the land down, get the hybrid down. Next turn we can we can adapt for value because I don't want to play the Mammoth Spider. Hmm. Okay, what was he holding up there? I don't want to play the Mammoth Spider into a uh, removal spell when I can use a two mana spell to uh, kind of bait something out here. Okay. That's fine. I don't think he realizes how much value I have in this deck going forward. His deck is like quick bursts of something. It's not really value. Mammoth Spider, cool. He's hoping to go wide, which isn't too bad. Does he try and attack again for no reason? Of course he does. I don't, I don't even know if he realizes I don't mind losing my Wall of Last Thoughts. So if he has got a combat trick and reveals his last card to be a combat trick, then is that a bad thing for me? That's 
fire. The audio is going funky again. And then, if I'm honest, we do play hybrid here. We do have the mana for it. I think that puts us in a good place. What the heck? The audio in this game is just so bad. Your turn, sir. Don't feel too bad about this. Um, well, we don't want to fall into the trap of... Uh, whatever they're about to do. So we can adapt next turn. Hmm. Uh, he's just very, very trigger happy on the attacks. I don't know why. It's irritating. I'm happy playing the slow game because I've got too many biomancery abilities that I can take advantage of. That's great. This is fantastic. So, hmm. Do I try? Do I try? I think I do. Um, and see what happens. Does he double up? The question is, does he double up or does he triple up? He triples up, that's fine. So the six damage is enough. Um, we do want to deal with one of the bigger guys. I'm okay with this. I mean, I was just trying to bait out something funky here. Um, didn't really work, but sometimes it does. Depends what he's trying to do here, though. Ah, maybe I just baited out a removal spell that perhaps would have put a plus one counter on target creature you control and tap that creature. Okay. Can't change my mind, can I? Audio is so strange. Okay. Hmm, not bad. Not bad at all. Fine, I guess. I guess. Good thing about him is we can deal with him easily with Fairy Duelist. I think if we always knew what his last card was, we'd be in a good place, but unfortunately we don't, and that's the problem. Oh, Frill Mystic is fantastic here. Okay, your turn. So we have three patches of play here. We can fairy duelist. We can quench. We can, we can go the counter magic way. We can go the ca the the combat defense way, um, or we can go adept, adept, adapt. Obviously. So is he going to attack this turn, or is he going to allow us to adapt? He's going to allow us to adapt. So we adapt for two against flying, which is quite cool. 
take my turn off. Draw land. Land is good. Land's fine. And then what we can do is nothing yet. But we're in a good spot for defending uh, onslaught, uh, oncoming onslaught. This could be a long game. This could be a long game. This could definitely be a long game. Land is fine. I mean, land card wise, we're ahead. We're in a good position. Um, it's going to cost them quite badly if if he lets the game go on any longer. Um, another land. That's fine. I don't mind getting lands because of the potential. I think I lost my biomancer. It's familiar though, didn't I? No, I didn't. That was the last game. Okay. See, he knows if I do attack, I lose the ability to block with anything because he can just get rid of the the mammoth spider blocker. But I want him to make him believe that I'm in a, I'm in a pinch. So if he does start trying to remove my stuff, then it should be fine. Sharkto crab. I really don't like the idea of Sharkto crab. So we're going to frill mystic it. I take action. Yeah, nice. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed that one. I did too. <laughs> no. You don't want to do that. That spider is the only thing between me and him. See, I can make this a flyer as well. This is this is awesome. This is awesome. Problem is, it's a five-five flyer, not a six-six flyer. So we're 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 going to value town as we're going forward, which is good. Um, we'll see what the opponent comes up with to try and defend against this. We might just have to play the grindy long game here. I'm okay with that. He's getting a bit uh, flooded, I believe, which is good. Okay, let's get our eel. Now, there are some ideal cards here. I think that um, the Toad card would be amazing because I could get rid of all their plus one counters and start uh, recycling. Oh, wow. Oh, I don't even care if this doesn't land, but that's exactly what I was looking for. That is exactly what I was looking for. This changes the whole dynamic of the game. So now, now we're in a good spot. I don't want to attack, but we can take advantage of the familiar's ability and get rid of this mammoth spider, finally. We've just had some good draws. We really have just had some good draws. just have consecutive good draws. I, I do believe that I'm... Oh, he plays his one, but he's got no activated abilities anyway. Hmm. I'm not happy with anything except a land at this stage. Open the gates is basically the equivalent of a non-land land. So we're going to search our library, mill it down a bit more. We need to be careful because we could win by decking. So we hopefully... Oh, the next card was a, cross, a crisis. That's so annoying. Well, I could be wrong, but I think the card that appears on top when you do this is the next card in your deck. So I've got 15 cards in deck. I've got 12. 
And we're just going to play the slow game here, I think. Or do we just go for the start pounding his face? I think we do. I think we just start pounding his face, put some pressure on him. I mean, he's got to return the favor going forward, but that's fine. Some vigilance would be nice. The thing is, he can kill it. Wait, no, he can't. He can use that to reach it, but he can't kill it. That also means that if he has, he doesn't have combat tricks, I don't feel too bad about losing the eel. Ah, he's going to try and drop it to the floor. Exile target creature. Quenched won't save me. Yeah, I guess I'm okay with that. So it hits the deck, and then what? Okay, okay, that's fine. So he's going to try and out-jank me here, which I'm okay with. Four six two three Yeah. Oh, that's good. Okay, so I'll do that. I'll I'll take it like that. And then what I'm gonna do is because there's nothing else he can do, his hand's empty. I can simply reduce the damage that the spider is going to use against me. Keep the eel alive and deal with two of his creatures at once, which is really good value for what we've just done. That's really good value. I like it. I'm happy with that turn. We definitely came out on top there. And the thing is, he got rid of my flyer, but he didn't get rid of my biomancer's familiar, so I can keep using it with the skitter eel to get adapt. Excellent, another win. Wow, we're on a roll here. One more win and we're in the money. This is fantastic. Very good. Wow. Wow, so after two losses in a row, we've won every game since. Wow. One more win and we're in the money. That's This is going to be a tough one because normally when this, this kind of situation arises, um, my opponent will always be on his top game. So I'm just going to take a bathroom break and I'll be back in a second. All right, so here we go. This will decide if I can afford another sealed, dra or sealed uh, event. This deck has been very strange. Very, very strange. It's been... Uh, it's not really an ag aggro deck. It's more of just an annoying control deck that makes my opponents quit. I don't think I've killed an opponent with damage yet. I think they've all quit, um, which is interesting. So we'll see how the next few games go, if I if I survive that long. So this hand is quite good. Rampage of the Clans. I probably should have taken that card out, to be honest. But whatever, it could come in useful. Opponent mulliganed. Don't know if that's going to be a good thing for us or a bad thing, but you can never tell. Oh, red. Okay. Uh, uh, what do I want to do? Start getting some board presence down, put some pressure on him, try and force some. Uh, some burn Rakdos, right another land is good not sure about Rampage of the Clans being any way useful but we'll take it so we'll deal him for two Arimunculus next
opponent plays a land. If he doesn't remove one of my creatures, he's he's quite far behind. He's going to. Okay. Yep. I'm okay with that though. I'm fine with that. That would have been nice last turn, but you know, whatever. Let's, let's take a look at his deck. Land, 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 and a scorch mark. So lots of burn, it, it seems. So let's start pinging him for two more. Don't wanna. I don't know if this is going to be a good situation. This is not looking good so far. Any of our four costers will be good here. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Any of our four costers would be good here. Our land is okay. I'm fine with that. There's not much we can... Uh, I probably should have attacked. That would have been good because he may have traded. He may have traded. Am I going to regret that? Did we lose by two damage? It's really his top deck city here. We need to we need to get something good. When everybody attacks me, sacrifice. Okay, that's fine. I'm okay with that. That's fine. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. I believe that this, sir, was a misplay on your part. I believe that this was a misplay on your part. Um, I think we declare blockers first. To be on the safe side. And then we play Fairy Duelist to bring him down. Fairy Duelist has been so good. It's done such good work here. And if he does have a response, we've got tower defense as well. Fairy Duelist has just been insane. Oh. Galloping Lizrogon with four adapt. We could we could take advantage here. We could definitely take it. So I'm gonna try and swing in. Try and try and tempt him into blocking. And then make use of the tower defense. We are in a good position now. We've got the Galloping Lizrog. A land is good, and anything else is good. So I think we're in a good good spot. Unless he removes this, then Lizrog is completely useless to us. Okay. Debtor's Transport, that's fine. Skitter Eel is something that I can adapt and use with the Lizrog as well. So I'm not too sad about that. I will ping in for one. I don't really want the afterlife triggers going off, so I think we're going to wait. They don't have lifelink, so that's not too bad, I guess. Death touch 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Does he take him down? Okay, he takes down my skitter eel, that's fine. And the Deadwood's Transport is obviously going to slam in for that. I don't want to lose 5 life here. What do we got? A land. Okay, so we can adapt. Um, I don't think I don't see the benefit in doing it right now. Um, we're just going to wait and see. Because I can attack. Uh, but I can block his Deadwood's Transport. And then line up for the next turn. He's obviously not going to play any burn versus the hybrid. Riot Menace, let's see. Does it go for the haste? No, it doesn't. And I don't think there's anything for two mana that can actually kill the hybrid. So, See, this is good, because now we have the Lizrog next turn that we can use the tokens for, or the counters for. With a land, I'm okay with that. So, you may remove any number of X. Okay. We'll take them all. I 
think that's how it works. Oh, 11, 11. That is cool. That's very, very cool. Um, we're going to ping him. Let's see. Another Riot Menace. Hmm. I'm okay with that. Ho oh, ho. Okay. 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 So let's just slam in with the Lizrog. That's a one for one with nine damage extra. Oh, wow. He really wants to mitigate that damage. Maybe he thinks I have another fairy duelist. If I did, that would be interesting. Oh, that would have been nice. Okay. Brings you down to five. We end. Because there's not much you can do. One of them should be a land. I'd like that if that was a land. Good. And then the last card, what is it? Do you attack? Do you attack? You do. Do you though? Okay. Hmm. That six damage isn't too bad. I'm going to take that. Just look for a mystic off. And I'm going to have full Mystic up for the foreseeable future. Oh, no way. Could this be game? I'm pretty sure that's a land. And is that the game? It is! Yes! <laughs> We're in the money, boys. Yes, we got lucky there. We got the right, correct amount of draws. I think we started off with some bad cards. If I'm honest, I need to get rid of that um, that thingy. Oh, are we one away win, win away from winning the whole thing? We are. Wow, I was not expecting this on my first on my first uh, seal event. So we want to get rid of Rampage of the Clans and possibly replace it with something better. There's not much to choose from. Uh, tap target creature, draw a card. I mean, that put us in such a good spot last time around when we when we managed to tap him down. Scry one when it enters the battlefield. It's either between the pose and the bounce effect here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Because I think if I had that in the last game, oh, we could have done some damage. So 5,000 gold, and we got 2,000 gems on the way as well. And if we win this, it's simply just an extra 200 gems. So I really don't care. I'm happy with this. Um, very, very impressive. Uh, and I'm enjoying the format. It's very, very fun. Um, yeah. So it appears that we haven't got many winners in the winner's circle here. It's wait, waiting 21 seconds. Ready to go. Okay, Nedved. I, I like this. I do like this. Um, it's not too good on the on the on the on the draw though, but. I don't want to tempt fate. I think we've been accepting some good hands so far. Him on the play with five cards in hand is not bad either. 
my favorite best friend is coming. So I've got lots of control -y abilities going forward. Does he make a play? Syndicate Gilmage, that's fine. And I think we just go with the Shimmer of Possibility. See what we get. Yep, I'm okay with that. Okay, Rakdos Trumpeteer is a bit of a pain in the ass. We could be in a bad spot here. Okay, it doesn't look like you can play anything here. So we play Duelist. Just for the sake of it. No blocks. Oh, he has a play. Damn it. Damn it. <sighs> Crap. It's my own fault. Okay. This puts some counter pressure on it. That was such a misplay. I should have waited. Um... Okay, good. So we know that there's not too much going on in the way of uh, combat tricks. Okay, that's fine. Curious as to what that last card is, but we're going to find out soon enough. Okay, so we have Thought Claps open. Let's wait. We've also got Double Adapt. Okay. He doesn't have red, so that's fine. So let's see what he does. Combat trick? No? Huh? What? Uh, no. Spectacle. You tried to spectacle it. No, you're getting done. That's good. Glad I actually kept the thought, thought thingy now, because that's, that's a much better position than before. Is that a land? Possibly. Oh, wow. Okay. Return to a creature's owner's hand. Uh, it's a high-costing crocodile, that is. So, what's this? Two damage to target opponent planeswalker. Does he pay five for that? I don't know. I do want to get addendum to give me some help. Oh, this is tough. Let's get rid of the crocodile. Draw a card. Biomance is familiar. And then we have adapt for one. Oh. Okay. So that wasn't too bad. We've adapted for one going on. Is it removal? Crocodile comes down. Adapt for one. Such good value. Chillbringer is good. Um, I think it does kind of aid us in what we want to do as well. So if I play Chillbringer, hitting Syndicate Gilmage, then I can swing in with Skitter Eel.
and adapt. And that way you can tap it even next turn. And we've got some knots. We wouldn't say solid blockers, but we do have some, some things that can kill his uh, Bell Haunt at least. And then his Catacomb Crocodile can uh, do its own thing. Okay, good, 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 good. So let's swing in, as we have been doing. You can kill it if you want. Yep. Mammoth Spider comes down. We need one more adapt creature, and then this game is ours. One more. Just one more. Okay. Because he's going to use this to tap, to tap down my skitter eel every turn. But that basically is a kill, because it means that he can't do anything with that creature. I do want to mill out, so let's do that. Oh, that was stupid of you. You could have tapped it. Okay, you could have tapped it. Oh, he couldn't have. He didn't have the mana for it. Oh, nice. Is that a flying as well? It does. I forgot about that. So I, I should have attacked with that. Creatures can't attack you unless they pay two. Wow. Okay. Wow. Scary stuff. I think he's learned his lesson this time around. So if we... Pick up our good friend Skitter Eel. Let him adapt. Adapt and conquer, my friend. Oh, Fairy Duelist is fantastic. Can't be serious. You have to tap him down. Good. That's what I was thinking. Will cost me four mana. I can afford it. I just want to get ahead, you know. Okay. Thing is now you can't actually you can't do anything about me. Ho oh, ho What a draw The cost symbol is still still staying there. Let's do it. That's amazing because of what I've been doing. I've been chipping away at him. I now have perfect, perfect life on board to take him down. Um, cool. Yes! Yes! First sealed event, victory. Yes! Wow, people, come on. Seven wins, two losses. That is so good. Wow. And no one, we beat no one with direct damage. Everyone was defeated because of uh, 
<laughs> because of conceding. That's so good. Let me just screenshot this. That's so good. That is so, so good. I'm so happy with that. So, we all want to open those packs. The three Ravnica Legions packs that we got. Let's see what we get. More of those walls. That would be nice. Uh, I already have one. That's my second one. I actually got three. I, I got one in the sealed event, and I got one in a pack from the very beginning. We can hear us what? I already got one of them as well. That's interesting. Nothing new. And, uh... <laughs> oh it's a sign rampage of the clans comes back to haunt me fantastic that was that was really enjoyable guys i i really did like that i i'm very happy um very impressed with with how that deck performed um obviously i hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i did and uh there'll be more of these videos going forward obviously there'll be all my old stuff all my gameplay stuff on the playstation still coming through um, but I'll be doing MTGA as well on the side. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. I'll be doing some deck lists, some Ravnica Legion stuff. Um, clearly, that was insane. Absolutely insane. Um, great stuff. I'm very happy with that. So make sure, if you're still here, I know it's going to be a long, either a multi-part video or just a long video. If you're still here, thank you for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I can provide some quality content going forward just like this. Apologies for the audio, and I'll see everyone in the next video. Thank you.